Hello, my dear students. I am Ashwini from Kumudati Science and Commerce Pillu College, Shikaripura. In this session, I will discuss about polymers. Before going to polymers, we have seen so many materials in our daily life. The materials which we commonly call plastics and which are used for making pens, bags, pipes, paints, cloths, etc. are all composed of synthetic polymers. The names of such materials are almost well known to everybody. For example, polyester, polystyrene, PVC, then terrene, teflon, etc. Let us discuss about the definition of polymers. What are polymers? What are the applications of polymers? First is definition of polymers.
polyvinyl chloride well known polymer that is vinyl chloride when heated under reduced pressure undergoes polymerization to give polyvinyl chloride polyvinyl chloride next is classification of polymers next is classification of polymers And the last one is synthetic polymers. And the third one is synthetic polymers. Let us discuss one by one. What are natural polymers? Very simple. The polymers which are found in nature are the polymers found in plants and animals are known as natural polymers. The polymers are found in plants and animals are known as natural polymers. For example, proteins, silk, starch, fats, etc. are all the but natural polymers. Natural polymers are the polymers found in plant and animals. Next, second category is semi synthetic polymers. Semi synthetic. So these semi synthetic polymers are in between natural polymers and synthetic polymers. Natural polymers and synthetic polymers. These polymers, that is semi synthetic polymers, are obtained by are obtained by what? Natural polymers. These are derived from semi synthetic polymers are derived from natural polymers by chemical modifications to enhance the desired characteristics. Enhance the desired characteristic. Semi synthetic polymers are uh, derived from natural polymers by chemical modifications. Some of the chemical modifications are done in natural polymers because to enhance the chemical desired characteristics. Examples for semi-synthetic polymers are cellulose acetate, cellulose acetate. It is commonly called as rayon. Next, cellulose trihydrate. Cellulose trihydrate, it is commonly known as gun cotton. Gun cotton, so which is used for making explosives. Next, another one is same, another one example for. Uh, is 
vulcanized rubber vulcanized rubber in natural rubber we did some chemical modifications okay so that is an example for semi synthetic polymers next the third category is synthetic polymers third category is synthetic polymers synthetic polymers are man made polymers we already know about synthetic synthesis synthetic polymers are man made polymers so extensively used in our daily life as well as in industry the example for semi synthetic 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 polymers are synthetic rubber synthetic fibers polyethylene etc are all example for synthetic polymers have you understood about these concepts next i will move on classification based on structure of polymers based on structure based on structure the polymers are once again subdivided into three types in that the first one is linear polymers linear polymers linear polymers next second one is branched chain polymers and the third one is cross linked or network polymers okay on the basis of structure what the, on the basis of structure we have classified the polymers into three types one is linear polymers branched chain polymers and cross linked polymers let us discuss one by one in that first one is linear polymers in this type of polymers the monomer molecules the monomer molecules are linked linked to form a long straight chain of polymer molecules in this type of polymers the monomer molecules are linked to form a long straight chain of a polymer molecule okay like this i will take this as in case of linear polymers monomer molecules are linked together to give a long straight chains of polymer molecules so these straight chains are arranged one over another like this these polymer chains are arranged one over another one over another to give a well packed structure this is one well packed structure so because of close packing because of close packing linear polymers has high melting point density and tensile strength have you understood because of close packing in linear polymers they have high density tensile strength and melting point clear next concept is branched chain polymers next one is branched chain polymers branched chain polymers 
gas, the mole of our molecules not only combine to produce a linear chains, but also forms branches at regular distances. At regular distances. Clear? Like this. Next. Another chain. The branches were like this. So, branched chain polymers, in case of branched chain polymers, the nanomer molecules not only combine to produce a linear chain, but also forms branches at regular distances. Due to this type of branching, these branched chain polymers have lower melting point, density, tensile strength than the linear polymers. Than the linear polymers. Okay? Have I understood about branched chain polymers? So, in case of branched chain polymers, the monomer molecules not only combine to produce a linear chains but also forms branches at regular distances. So, this type of branch, due to this type of branches, these branched chain polymers or polymer chains do not arrange as close because of these branches, these polymers has lower melting point, density, tensile strength than the linear polymers. Next, the third one is cross-linked polymers. The third one is cross-linked polymers. So these polymers are also known as network polymers. Cross-linked polymers are network polymers. In case of cross-linked polymers, these polymers are formed by the monomers. Monomer molecules having two or more than two functional groups. In case of cross-linked polymers, these are formed by from the molecules having two or more than two functional groups. When the monomer has functional group, then we can observe cross-linkages in polymers. So, these polymers form strong covalent bonds between the long polymer chains like this. So, this is one linear chain and this is another linear chain. This is another linear chain. These forms a strong covalent bond between the polymer chains. These forms a strong covalent bond between the polymer chains like this. So, thus, a well-packed rigid. Due to these strong polar bands, these cross-linked polymers has shows rigidity and uh, they are brittle in nature, they are hard.